Hi, this is John again from the Hippo Hippocrates Circle with Gavin Tucker. We did this about a year ago, um, the Jensen Holistic Health videos, and did a little interview with Gavin, so we decided to revisit and do it again. Welcome, Gavin. Thank you for having me back. It's been an honor. I love coming here. <laughs> so, uh, we were talking about his foundation, Live Pure Kids. Uh, you can check that out on his website as well. And uh, he's been putting that together and doing a lot of work in his schools. Yes. Um, well, since I've been back, um, back in my school, it's been a huge impact when it's come to the pure kids. Uh, I've been educating our next generation on disease prevention, um, just routines and techniques that they can start implementing now as children, um, as well as you know nutrition, um, health, their organic living lifestyle, as well as vegan. Um, my, and as well as also um, yoga, mindfulness yoga. And I've taken a lot of the teachings from Dr. Bernard Jensen and what I've learned from him through his, his, his books, his videos, um, and just what he's done for this world um, and, and implement, implemented that into my program of teaching our kids um, the same lifestyle and journey. And being here with his grandson um, it has just been an honor, um, you know, just to be up here where it really all started of, of his healing for thousands and thousands of people across the world. And, you know, since I'm here, I know a lot of people that are watching this are wondering the, probably the same question is, you know, I'm here with the grandson. What, what experience did you have? I mean, growing up, being able to see Dr. Bernard Jensen, you know, do his work around the Hidden Valley Ranch, especially here at the Hippocrates Circle, and what was that like as a kid? Well, Gavin, you know, that's a, that's a good question because I don't think about it in that context because obviously I was raised around it. But, uh, you know, looking back uh, as a kid, we used to play on the rocks and run through the hills, and, and I remember down below in the ranch, my, my grandfather had horses, and there was a playground, there's a full-on ranch with a pool and, and shuffleboard, and just you know, as a kid, it was exciting because you had all these things going on. There was a big kitchen, so there was three meals a day, and there was cooks, and there was, you know, it was just a lot of healthy food. And so, as you know, as a kid growing up, it was it was a lot of fun and uh, a lot of places to play around here. And then, as I got older, I started to realize more and more what he did as far as like with iridology and, and educating people, and you know, taking a class. One of his classes here at the Hippocrates Circle outside was fascinating. You know, he was, he was all about nature. He was all about you know the, the, the natural way of living. So it was it was a lot of fun taking my my iridology class from him out here with a lot of different people that came from around the world to hear him speak. And so growing up here is just uh, was you know looking back on it now is really you know a, a privilege. Uh, not even realizing at the time, you know the experiences that I that I was having and. Uh, you know, also growing up here, go for walks with my grandfather uh, around here on the Hunza Terraces. He created a lot of the Hunza Terraces based on when he went to the Hunza land to meet the king of the Hunzas. Uh, he was fascinated by all the terraces that they had there and the way they grew their food and, and everything. So he kind of put a lot of this together with that. Uh, Apollinar, who worked for him for many, many years, helped him put together a lot of the rock work that you see, this fountain here, a lot of the trails, a lot of the Hunza terraces. Uh, he, he put all of this together. He took care of the goats. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it'd be fun coming here as a kid and you get fresh goat's milk straight from the goat. Yeah. And you didn't think a lot about it at the time, but now, you know, that's that's something that, you know, you just don't you don't get that often. I mean, you don't get that kind of, right. you know, <laughs> <laughs> that experience. So, so what was, what would you say would be probably your favorite fruit or vegetable that your grandfather would grow um, specifically for his healing purposes that you would like? You know, he grew a lot of organic carrots. And I say organic because, you know, he didn't spray or anything. Uh, it was pretty natural. And he would grow carrots, just, you know, a field of carrots, and then he would juice them fresh here at the ranch. Mm -hmm. And so you'd get, when you went and got fresh carrot juice, I mean, it was really fresh carrot juice that you know you just can't get in the, the store or anywhere else. So, 
what, what kind of carrots would he grow? Because I know, I mean, if we go to the grocery store, growing up all the way, I'd probably say until three years ago, I just learned that there's purple carrots, white carrots, yellow carrots. But growing up, we've always learned that there was orange carrots. So would he grow like a variety of the different right. rainbows? Yeah. Different carrots and then you know, juice them all for different uh, vitamins and minerals. Yeah, I used to go down to the gardens down there, and they're huge watermelons and huge squash. And I mean, they just all organic. Right over here, there was an orchard, all organic. They had it netted, uh, you know, fresh, you know, fruit, uh, peaches off the tree that were ripe and just melted in your mouth, uh, which you just can't get in the store today. Wow. So, on an average, how many, um, I would say, patients would your grandfather have, um, I would probably say maybe every month, would it, would it be a variety of different people? Because I know you said all across the world. So what would be the amount of people that would come to see your grandfather? It varied. Yes. I mean, it varied, of course, during, you know, time of the year and all that. But it could be anywhere from 20 to 50 different people. He had, used to have cabins down there. People could stay in the cabins. He uh, had trailers you could stay in. Uh, you, could, you could stay on the ranch and for an extended period of time, for a week or two. You know, have uh, have your kalema. Um, you know, people would come here, can barely walk, come up in wheelchairs and leave walking. I mean, it was amazing. Uh, stories of people coming here and getting getting healed. And a lot of people came here for his lectures, too, as well. I've seen as many as 200 people here for a lecture. Wow. That's awesome. So, with his Hidden Valley Ranch, you know, still being here, what, what do you see, you know, the future for it, um, for kids and, you know, the world, do you see it prospering and, you know, becoming, you know, triple of what your grandfather has done, or, um, I mean, what is your vision on that? Well, I think as far as this, this place, it's more of a symbol of leaving his legacy, and so, but I do see more and more awareness and people becoming more awake about organics and holistic food and, and healing, and so, you know, he was just one of the pioneers at that time with Gerson and Kellogg and all those people that really got the, got the health movement going and, and uh, Paul Bragg and B.D. Irons and Dr. Bronner. And so, you know, he was like right there with them. He was in L.A. with his first ranch, Jack Lane, and, you know, all the, all the health and fitness gurus. So I, I think the legacy that they all left is what's driving us today. And even though we've got a lot of marketing stuff that kind of goes against that, I think I see a trend where we're moving forward. Is it becoming more healthy? More people, it's education and more and more people are looking to want to be healthy and to be the best that they can be. That's awesome. Well, Mr. Jensen, it's always a pleasure and an honor just being in your presence and here and you allowing um, you know, me to, and my wife to come up here and spend you know, this beautiful you know, time with you and to experience where a legend is, is still here, as you can see. I mean, you can feel the energy, the positive energy, and I just can't wait to see what the future holds. And I appreciate that so much. It's great to see you. Great to see, have Jackie up here too, and, and you guys are doing a great job. So check out uh, Live Pure Kids, their foundation online, and uh, you know, see how they're doing. Go up there and, and uh, see what different links and things that you can research. Thank you for watching Jensen Holistic Health Series, and uh, I'm John. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm Gavin.